Hi, very good morning to you. Jim from Mavstar. Take a look at this. This is what we call humble pie. You know, David Morello, you know, AKA Diamond. We all know who he is. Uh, Open Hammer Ranch has asked me to let's do a show and ask some hard questions, perhaps get you a few more to chip into the observatory. You know what? We don't need your help. You know what? We do not need the likes of your help at all because we know what you are. All right, look, what was the word he described me as? Oh, this is a charlatan, yeah? Coming from a guy that talks about a lot of things, runs the magnetic reversal review, whatever it's called, and what has he actually done to detect even, you know, the magnetic reversal? What equipment is he using as his basis, as a topic of discussion? Nothing other than what he can find on the internet. So it's speculation, and that's a big problem because you can't base facts on speculation. You know, whereas we here at the, you know, Mavstar Observatory have equipment, a lot of equipment, CO2, atmospheric detection equipment. Uh, we monitor the atmospheric oxygen, um, you know, the background radiation, alpha, beta, gamma, uh, muons, you know, it, it, and we've got the Trimax system, which actually, tri you know, triangulates the magnetic pole and its movements and progression over the northern hemisphere. This guy just talks about these things. He's a fraud. Absolute fraud. And for him to come back and ask me to do a, a podcast with him is a joke. And this just proves it to you guys out there who Diamond is. Diamond, when I did do some podcasts with him, was telling me, oh, you need to do this to raise more revenue. You need to open a shop to raise more revenue. Boasting that he raises like $5,000 alone off his personal shop selling items to you that you don't need. Let me tell you something now. If you go onto his site and you didn't need something at that point, that at the end you'd, you felt you needed it, then you've been convinced by this guy to buy it. I've not tried to sell you diddly squat. Not a baseball cap, not a mug, nothing. I've sold you nothing at all. I don't promote, you know, my uh, Collider Silver on this channel. Or some of the other products I do, which aren't doing, I've got to admit, they're not doing that good. And just like, you know, the fact that we don't raise any money on this channel anymore, you know, it's all gone to pot because of people are literally living in poverty. They've got no excess, um, extra cash at the end of the month. The last thing we want is turncoats like this, David Murillo. After what he said to me, after what he did to me, you know, on his website, on his YouTube channel, we don't need guys like this in our little corner. That's what I say, you know, he's like Ben Davison. Stay the hell away from them. Stay as far away as you can from them because they're out for the money. I'm not out for the money. You know what, I can turn my pockets out right now. There's just going to be fluff falling out of them. You know, we're skint. And you know what? We won't even put the link in there for you to support us because it's ridiculous. You know, I understand your situation. You're broke, just like the rest of us. You know what? Get on with it. But you know what? Have some dignity. If you're going to make allegations about people, stand by them. Don't come back, you know, nine months later and ask them to do, you know, questions with you. like this guy you know we, we are living in unbelievable times now you know they're unprecedented you can't even put a benchmark on them you can't you can't mark it down as something you can't even describe it because this is undescribable times that we're in you know what we've got parliaments here in the uk that are no better than any other but there's no other choice for you to choose so what do you do with your vote hmm? 
I don't know. You tell me. You know what? If you're in America and you listen to Joe Biden's speech the other day, oh my God. You know, I hope you have the ability to work out the truth from the lies. And we shouldn't have expected no, no, nothing else, really. I, I said this years ago. You know what? Mafias, organised crime gangs, do obtain, you know, things like governments. And if you think that that is not the case, you, you're so wrong. Yeah, they've got to do a little bit to make it look like they're doing something. But you know what, when they're shipping out 60 odd million pounds to Ukraine and they're saying it's to support manufacturing of weapons in our own country, what they've just blatantly told you is we are fueling the military industrial complex, which is what everyone has been telling you for years, isn't it? You know what? They have destroyed our operation here beyond, from what I can see, any um, progression from here, despite any will and um, determination to carry on and on and on. You know what? All I can do is offer you once a month now, you know, a magnetic pole reversal and the occasional earth out at a glance. You know what? Other things have taken over much more of our operation than what we wanted to be talking about. But unfortunately, we can't just talk about these things and, for, and, and, not, and not mention them or even you know, bring them to the table because they're relatively important. Anyone that's had a business knows. I've not had a single apology from this guy, David Marilla, for what he said to me. Yet I have been the guy that stood up, talked the talk and walked the walk. This guy, where's he getting his magnetic reversal news from? Talks about permaculture being the, the biggest and all the main thing, but permaculture will destroy your shop where you buy your food from. The reason why is because permaculture is a disaster. It's okay for the people that want to, you know, live in the daffodil fields. Coming from a scientist now, permaculture is a disaster because the reason why we have pesticides on large scale agriculture is to eliminate, you know, all the other predatory um, species that grow in amongst the crops that de you know destroy the nitrogen nutrients out of the ground if you want to produce on a large scale and feed a city you don't want to be a permaculturist because it's impossible your crops will fail they'll deteriorate they'll attract species that you don't want in there you know uh, pests as we call them, uh, you know, pesticides into the fields that destroy your crops and reduce your yield down by 25%. If you're out for business, you're trying to make some money as a farmer, you do not want permaculture attitude. This is what he supports. You know, again, you know, another thing, you know, he, he thinks cannabis is a great thing. Cannabis and alcohol probably are the main two contributors to destroying the majority of people's lives. He thinks cannabis don't affect anybody. Cannabis causes massive scale paranoia on an unbelievable scale, reduces somebody's ability to be a functioning human being massively. You know, this was clear cut science years ago from psychologists. He thinks it's fucking great. Give it your kids. Put it in their breakfast. You know, bake some cakes with it.
you know what? It's going to be a hard curveball lesson for a lot of people until they start realising the truth behind these people. You know what? You know, it, it's just a matter of time before you realise yourselves. You know what? I can bring you to the table. I can put these things on there. You've got to work it out for yourselves. I've just clearly showed you what sort of person this is. This guy, eight, nine months ago, was running me down to the ground on his channel, trying to destroy me. And now he's asking me to come on his channel and answer a few hardball questions. And let's see if we can raise some money for you, Gene, for your observatory. Go fuck yourself. Diamond. You're an asshole. There is no way I will sit down on a table with you and have a discussion just the same way as Ben Davison. That crook that is yet to be put in fucking jail, as far as I'm concerned. And we've got a few other monsters out there, which I won't even mention their names because they're not worth mentioning. But they are equally as disgusting as this guy. And Leah, you are just in the same group because you are his partner. And you support him. And I've seen you and David stand up on a stage talking to people about your crap. And I realise one thing. You don't know the topics of the subjects you're talking about. On any scale or platform. It's ridiculous. You pair of parasites living off people on YouTube. That's it. Do something else productive with your lives or fuck off. We're in we're in big trouble guys. This is just a tick on an Alabama raccoon's arse we've got bigger problems than this you just need to take a look around to realise it as always bye for now